why be easy when you can just die? I'm Chewy Mute. Welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mute video. Where everything turned blue there for a second. And uh, today is the Halloween-ish themed video. Where today I'm going to be taking a look at the various monster uh, Spider-Man character figures that I have. Um... Uh, doing that intro kind of burned my throat. Oh uh, yeah, so I figured uh, since I'm able to make these different crazy vocal vocal sounds, um, I'm gonna just be using them more often, like I can. Like that one's really hard to do because you have to suck air inwards, which is kind of hard. And yeah, so we're gonna take a look at the various monster figures. Also, Happy Halloween. And if you don't celebrate Halloween, then uh, hi, how you doing? And so yeah, I'm gonna be using the various different uh Halloween uh ish, not Halloween ish, but sort of just monster borderline could work as a horror kind of character or just have a sort of creepy monstrous looking design and first off something that checks almost none of those boxes is jack-o-lantern here <clears throat> my throat really is flummy now after doing that crazy noise um but yeah so here's jack-o-lantern and he has a cool gimmick uh which he lights up uh it would be cool if there was a way to keep the gimmick on like longer because you have to press the button to light it up so you have to be holding it to do it that'd be cool if you could, like, set up, like, if you press and then it lights up for, like, 10 seconds, then it turns off or something, so you can have, like, a boom, and then take a picture of it or something, you know? <clears throat> Fortunately, you can't do that, which, uh, I like how when I turn the light off, everything turns bluish. <clears throat> like, the white balance gets all messed up. But, yeah, so, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the only issue with this figure is he has a gimmick, which kind of ruins some posability here. And also, he doesn't have an ab crunch. He does have a waist swivel here. Uh, he doesn't have an ab crunch. Because he has to have the light gimmick, which I think that's kind of okay. I think the battery's dying here. Come on, man. This lasted me, like, what? Over 10 years, and now it dies? I think it just died. Oh, no. It still works. Okay. Oh, yeah, sometimes you gotta push it hard, because if you push it... Like, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing it right now, and it's... I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of finicky. I think the battery's dying. But, yeah, this figure's pretty cool. And if you guys saw um my review of this guy, and also Twist and Shoot Spider-Man, it's basically the... Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited costume. Uh, you may notice that this guy has the best ankle pivots ever. Play that footage here. Yeah, best ankle pivots ever on a figure ever. You can't get any better than that. And uh, also another thing that a lot of people say, Hasbro invented this kind of joint, but uh, Toy Biz actually invented this hinge rotation joint that Hasbro people say, oh, it's innovative. It's not innovative. Toy Biz did this in like, what, 2006? It doesn't say on the foot, but this is probably, this is 2006, so... Does it doesn't say anywhere on this guy. Yeah, 2006, Toy Biz was doing that articulation that people think Hasbro created when, you know, th they didn't. Uh, but yeah, so... Oops. Yeah, it's kind of funky to get on the glider here, but you can hinge the toes up so he stays on it. But yeah, this figure's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the little peg on his hand here is broken, so you can't clip the... Can't clip the bomb onto his hand so he can throw it anymore. Which is a little unfortunate, but I also never use this gimmick. Like, when you have a figure displayed on a shelf... This, that kind of gimmick doesn't ever do anything. Um, I'm, I'm going to make a video showing how to remove this gimmick here. Or maybe not. I don't know. But either way, that is it for a Jack-O-Lantern or Mad Jack. Honestly, I never remember what his name is. But now on to the next figure. Oh, also, I'm not going to be using um, Man Spider. This guy. Oops. Sucks my light. Got off there, dude. I'm not going to be using this figure um, just because, I mean, it is monstrous by, like, the definition of monster this this, this is a monster, but I'm not going to be using it just because it's, like, mutated Peter Parker, so it's not quite a... I mean, it is a monster, but I'm, I'm not going to be including it. Or maybe I will, I don't know. I think I have, like, what, ten figures here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have eleven figures here, actually. Um, yeah, so... Next up, we've got the Lizard. Yeah, and we have the Lizard, and I'm not going to be using the Fearsome Foes Lizard, even though this does look kind of creepy... And also, I'm not going to be using the Ultimate Lizard, uh, just because it's it's creepy too, but they're a little bit more kind of uh, realistic-ish. Instead, I'm going to be using the Spider-Man Classics Series. I mean, I think it's before Series 1, so I don't know what this would be classified as, but I'm going to be using this guy instead, because this one is kind of creepy looking. I feel like this one's more cr the creepier version of the Lizard, because he has like these, uh, he's more reptilian looking. He has more reti reptilian looking eyes, because they're, uh, they're tiny yellow with, like, a single, like, uh, line through it. You Like, this is the kind of character you can't make eye contact with. If you look at this lizard, you can see he actually does have, like, a pupil around his eye. Whereas this one, I mean, it doesn't really, it kind of has a pupil, but it's kind of more just, like, a single line going down his face. You know, creepy teeth, uh, cool, uh, sculpt, which actually is a reuse 
from some, I think, 1997 or 1998 Toy Biz Wave where it comes with, like, a water jetpack. Um, I think they just upscaled it to actually be in the proper, like, a 6-inch scale. Because compared to, like, this figure, um, I mean, they're, they're pretty close to the same size. So he is, he's a bit of a smaller scale lizard figure. So he's a bit of a smaller scale figure. Um, so it, it, it it's a little bit off here. Uh, pretty much my only issues with this is that he has, like, a six-pack here and muscles, even though he's the lizard, and he's a lizard, so he shouldn't have human pectorals. He even has a belly button, which, fun fact, lizards don't have belly buttons because they don't come from the mother's, you know, insides. Um, you know, really cool. Looks like it has blood on it, which that might be done on purpose, or maybe it's supposed to just look dirty and get, like, a cool tail. It's not bendy wire, and it is removable in case you want, like, look like his tail's chopped off or something. Sometimes what I do is when I have him posed against the shelf like this and he, his legs won't reach, I have him put like this. I have him posed like this, then I put the tail like like that. So it looks like the tail is still attached to him. Like It looks like the tail is still attached even though it's not, um, which, you know, that's cool. Uh, low articulation on this guy, but I still think, like visually, this looks exactly like the 90s cartoon, except the 90s cartoon, he had red eyes. And also they put some shell, shell, shell sating, shells. Now, I can't say it correctly. Cell shading here on his legs, you can see, is like... Like, this is how Hasbro is supposed to do leg shading, Hasbro. I mean, come on. You're you're, you, you're so much richer than Toy Biz is. You should be able to nail cell shading. He doesn't really have it here on the legs, though. But it looks really cool. Look how good that looks. Because they have, like, grooves in the joints. Or they have, like, grooves on it that actually can put you can put shading into. It's really cool. I really like that. And, uh, yeah, so toss him over here. He's kind of creepy looking. I think he's probably the one of. The, I think he is the scariest lizard figure. He's not scary, but I think I think that one looks kind of scarier than this. This one is more articulation and more, more. I wouldn't say he has more paint apps, but he that one looks a lot creepier. I think compared to compared to this lizard. Next up, we have it is Venom. Uh, spoilers, and it's the uh, series. I think series one or series two Venom, where he's like half transforming. So I'm using this Venom and not other Venom figures like Sinister Six Venom or my first ever Venom figure. There's like a bug here. I'm not. I'm not using. I'm not using either of those figures because uh, I mean Venom's kind of creepy looking, but this is just creepy on a whole nother level. Like it's mid transformation where you have like this crazy disproportionate hand, a normal fist here, exposed leg. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think this one just. Uh, I think this one just looks creepy. And you can see this crazy looks like a Venom snout, like an alligator snout almost, with Eddie Brock's face hiding in there. If you turn on the flesh, you can see inside the face. Very creepy looking eyes, kind of, like, I mean, if you fi somehow find a way to remove the, the Venom head and put, like, like, if you were to somehow get this head out and then maybe sculpt some hair, you could maybe make a Carnage custom with this face. Um, but incredibly creepy looking, and uh, I think it's very cool. It's one of my favorite figures, or Venom figures. Honestly, all the Venom figures I have, I really like. I don't think, I don't really think Venom ever had a bad 6 inch scale Venom figure by Toy Biz. I don't think he ever had a bad figure. This is really good. And kind of like Lizard, he does have limited posability. He does have a bit more. Only because he has like, uh, you know, ball joint shoulders and legs. Ankle hinges. Uh, knee joints. A rotation in the wrist here. And then like, and then the elbow. You know, he does have more articulation than Lizard. But uh, I think it's still cool. And it's all this nice texture on his back too. I keep yawning here. Yeah, it's like this nice texture here and stuff. It's really cool. All these, uh, looks like the ripped costume on almost a little bit. I think it looks. I think it looks really cool, and uh, I think out of all the Venom figures, this one probably encapsulates a sort of creepy look to it the best. Next up, we have. Uh, so I'm also not going to be using a bunch of symbiotes because honestly, all symbiotes are a little bit creepy. So I'm not going to be using all of them just because the whole list would almost be symbiotes. Next up, we have a sort of an honorable mention, I guess, and that is the Alien Spider Slayer from the uh, '90s Toy Biz wave. Um, and I realized uh, if you squeeze the legs. Closes the pinchers, which that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so I'm not going to be including this one because it is a monster, but uh, it's also, it's like an, it's called an alien spider slayer. I don't, I don't remember if this is, I don't remember seeing this in the cartoon. Because uh, also, I didn't watch every single episode of the 90s cartoon because I wasn't able to, I couldn't get all of them on VHS. So I don't remember, I don't think I ever saw this figure before. But uh, I mean, this figure itself isn't creepy, but if you imagine this as like, like a creature with like this level of paint apps, it could be creepier. Um... He has, like, like not a six-pack. He has, like, an eight-pack. So, crazy muscles. I'm not going to be including it just because it's kind of creepy, but it's not. The figure itself doesn't look creepy. It's kind of, like, 
If you put some crazy wash on that guy, he could look pretty creepy. But a figure that does look creepy is Doppelganger. It's basically evil Spider-Man with six arms, crazy like Venom style head, spiked feet, um, still very muscular. Again, super six pack. Almost every figure here so far has had six packs except for him. And you know, this guy's probably ripped under that suit. You just don't see his muscles. So yeah, um, incredible back muscles here as well. Very muscular dude. Um, yeah, I'm including this one, but not Alien Spider Slayer, just because, I don't know, I feel like this one is, just looks a little, has much more, much more stuff going on here, a bunch of arms. In the way of articulation, like these two guys, doesn't have much here. I mean, he does have more than Lizard, I think, just because he has six arms. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Lizard has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Oh, they have the same amount of posability. So, yeah, only because he has six arms. If he didn't have six arms... He wouldn't be doppelganger, but you know, either way, stand in front of Venom here, and you can see he is really short. Like I showed, he's pretty much on par with Lizard's height. Lizard's hunched over a bit, but uh, he's he should be close to the height of like Venom, or at least Mad Jack over there. Next up, we have a figure that is one of my only Hasbro figures. Actually, it's my only build a figure that I have now, and that is uh, Ultimate Green Goblin, which I gave his foot to Hulk. Just because I don't really... I have this guy just sitting in a, a bin in my closet instead of being on on the shelf. Which Hulk is... Uh, you can see him over here. Hulk is... Or they can see the, the Green Goblin foot right there behind Iron Man's right foot and Wolverine's left. Um, yeah, so yeah. I gave it to him just because this guy's usually not on display. And he's pretty big. He's uh, a lot bigger than Venom, which I think he, he's supposed to be. Also, Venom's pretty big too. Yeah, look at the height difference. Move the camera up here. So yeah, these two I think are pretty close in height. Also, I don't have this figure on display just because I'm not a big fan of the Ultimate Spider-Man comics. Considering Peter Parker dies, which is kind of dumb that you kill off the biggest character in comic book history. I mean, arguably with Batman and Superman, but I think he's the biggest comic book superhero ever. Um, and having Peter Parker die is kind of dumb, so I don't really like Ultimate Spider-Man. I did get this Build-A-Figure. Uh, I completed it just because, I don't know, the figures were cheap. So they were like 18 bucks, and I was like, ah, oh, might as well. And yeah, so I think it's cool, but uh, I, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of this figure. And he is kind of creepy looking. He does have this nice texture that you don't see with Hasbro figures anymore. Um, creepy looking head sculpt as well. Uh, articulation on this guy, is the, he has the most posability out of these figures. I think actually Mad Jack has more because he has finger and toe joints. Um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, no, I don't have too much to say about this other than that it looks kind of cool. It, it's uh, I'm going to call him Horny Hulk because it's not really Green Goblin, it's just like a big evil hulk looking guy I, I don't know why they made him look like this when they could have done so many different things for the goblin or goblin theme next we have the uh the uh toy biz the amazing spider-man symbio blast venom here this is a bootleg version of the hasbro version but basically it's toy biz the only difference between this and the official toy biz version is the ankle pivots on this guy don't work so that's like pretty they sculpted this all as one piece here so you do get the hinge but you don't get the pivot so that's like the only difference between this and the official Toy Biz version. Um, the articulation and everything else is really good on this. They also removed the button on the back that didn't do anything, which that's cool as well. Um, yeah, so I don't really need to explain why this thing is creepy looking. It just, look at the sculpt on this guy. Look at this enormous elongated jaw that doesn't even go down, like, doesn't go, uh, like, uh, horizontally like it's supposed to. It goes vertically, like, downwards. Creepy tongue here. And again, just like Mad Jack... Has this articulation here that a lot of people think Hasbro invented when Toy Biz did this, uh, you know, 2006. Probably did it before. To the best of my knowledge, 2006 is the first time I know that I've seen it. Um, but yeah, so this thing, again, really creepy, really hor horrific looking. Stuff like uh, Fierce, or like uh, like Sinister Six Venom here. I mean, it also kind of creepy, but not having all that crazy texture and uh, disproportionate, like huge back, huge arms, crazy looking face. It's not like borderline horror like this could totally be a horror themed venom the other one too just because it's like mid transformation so it's kind of creepy put venom over here next up we've got um we've got uh toxin i said i wasn't going to include a bunch of symbiotes but i mean come on look how disgusting this guy looks uh, similar to venom it's just extremely detailed as far as the sculpt here look at the sculpt on this guy really creepy looking head crazy tongue there uh, looks like he has a hinged jaw, but that's just the way they made the plastic together. I like that he has, like, the the small eyes, but they have, like, the huge uh, sort of black outline around them with little twirls at the top. Really cool looking. Um, he does have an ankle pivot on this foot that works properly. On this one, unfortunately, he doesn't. 
Um, you know, really good joints here. Probably uh, incredibly good joints where he can kick up really high and go back really far. And unfortunately, the arms don't move up that much. And he doesn't have, like, rotation here in the wrist or anything. He has single joints, which they still get the job done here. And overall, I think this figure is pretty cool. Uh, the thing is, you know, seeing pictures of this guy online, I thought he was comparable to, like, Venom's size here. I mean, Venom's hunched over, but I thought he was going to be a lot bigger, like, maybe this tall compared to Green Goblin. I didn't think he was going to be short. Like, he's not short, but compared to, like, my first ever Spider-Man figure, they, they can look eye to eye, which I feel like he should be this height compared to Spider-Man. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he is a shorter symbiote, but I don't know. To me, he looks... When I when I first unboxed him and got him out of the mail the, the mailbox, or when I first opened up the package that he was in, I thought he was going to be a lot bigger than that, but he was kind of tiny. He's not super small, but I don't know. I feel like he should be like like 6 or 7% bigger, you know? Put him here. And then we have the last horror-themed character, and this is completely horror-themed, and that is my custom Demo Goblin figure, which, uh, you know, is very much very horrific-looking character. I haven't reviewed this, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but yeah, um custom custom hood and stuff custom pieces but yeah if the, if the original one is extremely horror based and i mean it's a demon can you really get much more horror than that oh, but yeah, i'm gonna be ranking these from what i consider to be creepiest to least creepiest the least creepy i'm just gonna say is a uh, horny hulk over here just because it's not creepy just like it's basically hulk with with abomination head and spikes on his arms it's kind of more like doom if doomsday hulk and abomination had a kid next i'm gonna say I'm going to say next is um, Doppelganger, just because if he, if he was, like, big like this and had a bunch of sculpt and paint apps, he would be significantly higher, but because he's... Unfortunately, he's limited by how Toy Biz used to make 90s toys, so it doesn't have a crazy sculpt and detail and stuff like that. But if Toy Biz were to make a figure on par with, like, sculpting like this or stuff like this, they could make a pretty horrific-looking Doppelganger. Next, I'm going to say... Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to say uh, this Venom. I mean, this Venom is kind of creepy looking, but I feel like some other figures are kind of more creepy. Then I think I'm going to go with Lizard. Um, Lizard. Um, Venom. Uh, just because, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like Venom is kind of creepy looking. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely the most disturbing Venom figure probably ever. Then Mad Jack, just because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not completely creepy to me. Then we have Toxin. And then we have a Demo Goblin here. So all these are pretty creepy. And how many is that? Two, four, six, eight. Only eight figures. And, uh, I mean, if we wanted to go to ten, I guess I'll throw in the Alien Spider Slayer. I'll put him last just because he's not super... He's not super over-the-top creepy. I mean, he's kind of creepy, but he's not, like, you know, super... I mean, if, if he was, again, just like him, if he had crazy level of detail and scope like this guy does over here, he would be he'd be so much better. And so maybe thinking, well, dude, that's only nine. What about ten? What are you going to do for ten? This guy. 